Veolia is a project aimed at 16 to 25 year olds, supporting them to come up with their own ideas on how to protect and improve their local environment. Viva Veolia is match funded by the Veolia Environmental Trust through their Landfills Communities Fund and V, the Youth Volunteering Charity. Together they have invested half a million pounds across eight local project sites across England. This has enabled eight local wildlife trusts to support young people to look after their local environment. The project will provide young people the chance to learn new skills such as practical or horticultural conservation skills and also gain new social and networking skills. In total, 50% of our young volunteers have progressed onto some further training, employment or volunteering opportunities. Here at Mayes Park Nature Reserve um, we have the Wildflower Meadow and we've done lots of work on that with the young people that have been coming out on the project. Over at Portrack Marsh Nature Reserve we've put new footpaths in over there, we've put new boardwalks in to make access a lot better for local visitors. Okay, I've worked with lots of different groups and individuals from the local area, um, mainly from Stockton on Tees and Middlesbrough. I feel that I've got my self-confidence Beforehand, I wasn't that confident with groups or with other people and since I got into this course, I've learned to come out with my show and to just say what I want to say. They also get to gain lots of practical skills, so using tools and learning about the local environment. Uh, they also get to gain their John Muir Awards, their Outdoor Discovery Awards. It really feels as though you've done something with your day, rather than just sit around on a day off or something, you actually get up and, and are helping. So it's, it's definitely fulfilling in that way, so yeah, I definitely recommend it. I've worked with a huge variety of young people, disabled people, able-bodied. Uh, I've worked with the Doncaster Rugby League youth team. Um, we've been doing lots of practical work on site, um, some lovely project work, made some raised beds, uh, a sensory area specifically for disabled visitors come and have a look at but we've also had fun times we've done some African drumming sessions we've been out bird watching walking around the reserve I really wanted to increase my skills and experience so I could get a job now I've got a job working uh, in the Selby area on a project working with families and doing sort of helping out with events here has really helped with that um, giving me a bit of experience. They've, they've managed to get involved in loads of different work that we couldn't possibly have done without them. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone else. Today we're learning about woodland skills and survival skills here at Blackamoor. We've got a group of four young people here, aged between 16 and 25, learning how to do some survival skills, but also developing team working, cooperation, communication. Today we've been spoon carving, uh, a little bit of tree felling, uh, helping pick up a tarp. All these things sound very simple. When you actually look at them and the skills involved, you find out that there's a good way of doing them and you come up with the best way of doing it and you practice that, you uh, you'd be quite proud of yourself, I think. It's been a wonderful, wonderful project. We're doing loads of different stuff, mainly to open the lowland heathland areas and a lot of the tree felling that's going on has been done by the youth rangers. Uh, we've also done some uh, seed harvesting and seed collection and seed scattering that we've been doing today uh, and that's to re-germinate some heather that's in the seed bank. Some of the volunteers come from Connections which has been really good. Uh, guys who are just literally bored at home, nothing to do, came out with us and really got into the spirit of it and now some of them have got into college as a result of coming out with us. And some guys are from college and need it as a placement. It's given me lots of practical skills which is a big big part of doing this in a career because if you don't know the practical you don't know how to do it. They're all local from Canuck a lot of them and there's lots of mixed abilities uh, in the group and they've all helped each other out a lot. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and it's a great experience to have, it's great to put on your CV, it's great to just be part of a big team that does positive work around, around the local areas. We've been running a six week course uh, based here on the Arkle, doing some coppicing and woodland management work um, and that's involved taking out some of the smaller trees and, and then using the green wood to, do, to learn crafts 
and make objects. Traditionally, the whole um, site would have been coppiced. By bringing back coppicing, the floor, ground floor improves and that has a knock-on effect um, with um, invertebrates, birds and the higher mammals. Today we've had um, Jeff, the heavy horse, who's been here um, with his owner Phil doing some wood extraction. So we've been working with some youngsters who have left school without any qualifications and really just uh, building their confidence and over the six weeks uh, we noticed a, hu a huge change in their attitude as well as the site getting the benefits of the work that they've done. I've been working on the Viva Violia project, engaging young people uh, to get involved in the nature reserve, doing practical conservation work and learning about the environment. We've been working particularly on a wildflower meadow, uh, so preparing the ground and planting flowers. We've been in the river uh, pulling out rubbish and uh, other blockages. I've really enjoyed the fact that this has provided an opportunity to engage young people who wouldn't necessarily think of coming along on in their free time uh, to do some conservation work. What we've managed to do is introduce um, new people to this beautiful nature reserve and get them involved in caring for it and improving it for wildlife and for people. At the moment we're in Winnell Moors, which is right in the centre of Winchester. Today what we're doing is removal of scrub. We've been making cattle fences for, for the grazing and we've been taking down the willow to, to allow the water levels to reduce. The site has gone through a major renovation over the last six to eight months and uh, the Viva Violia project has played a major part in that. To get people out into green spaces is really good. Um, psychologically. The, the groups that I work with here are very mixed and varied from all different backgrounds, from young offenders um, all the way through to university students. I really like doing this voluntary work because I've been out of work for about six years. Yeah, I just got, got started and really enjoy it really. Lots of people don't even know that Summer Park is here and um, I think since we've sort of been working here it's sort of word of mouth has spread through people and um, people come and visit it more. We then moved on to Forest School sites which have been used by probably about 300 school children this year. Our other main area of work has been the wildlife garden here. We've created lots of different habitats um, that are useful for different things. Head teachers from various schools have been visiting to get ideas and the beds are all raised so that people in wheelchairs are able to appreciate what's growing there and enjoy the smells and the colours. I've met so many people at the Wildlife Trust and I'm going on to do other things for them and um, just you know the, the knowledge that I've gained as well because I didn't know that much about gardening or things like that and just to have some practical experience is really great. The Wildlife Trust's vision is of an environment rich in wildlife for everyone. We are also delighted to have been working with Veolia Environmental Trust and V to create this Youth Rangers program. Young volunteers gain a multitude of things from engaging in this kind of work. First of all, they are positively engaged in doing something that has a social impact. But secondly, they are developing not just social skills, but transferable skills. I think one of the most um, amazing things to me is going along to the projects and actually seeing young people that haven't got enough confidence, but I've seen such a, a change in those people. And I know that some of those people have gone on to get part-time work and then they've gone on to get full-time work. Some of the others I know have gone on to study, study in this type of thing. And, and that's one of the great benefits of this type of scheme. Through this programme, over a thousand young people have been able to make a lasting contribution to conservation. This will undoubtedly stand them in good stead for the future. As a volunteer myself, I know what a difference it can make. This project has been hugely beneficial, not only to the sites where the physical improvements have been made, but to the young people who have been richly empowered by the whole process.